Uh, pleasant good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Turfway Park Racing and Gaming, our Saturday opener in about 29 minutes at 5.55. Nine races, pretty nice stakes race this evening. The 33rd running of the Desk Commander, $125,000 guaranteed. Older horses, four-year-olds and up, traveling one mile and one sixteenth. Nice size field of nine. That's our seventh race on a nine race card. We have a nice 20 cent single six jackpot carryover that will start in our fourth race. And that is $50,000 plus for that carryover. To Pita Fast, I'm your track announcer, Tony Kalo. Let's open up our programs. Here are tonight's changes. Nothing to report in the opener. The opener will start the early double, the early pick three, and the early pick five. Race one is clear of change. And there they go. And showing plenty of a pop is just Gus. And also up close to the action here is pretty fast, pretty fast picking it up along with to his outside Candy Nun. And from the inside, my man Freddy. And here is Prince Colton. He gets a nice stocking trip in the clear from the outside. And Sharon's Prince has the fifth spot along the inside. Bricklayer is about four or five lengths off the lead. Just Gus is second last. And at the tail of the field, one fast midi. So with the lead, my man Freddie and pretty fast. And Candy Nun makes his move three wide. Prince Colton is a little deep through the turn. He's four wide, but he is closing in. And here comes Sharon's Prince. Sharon's Prince is ready to crash the party with momentum at the quarter pole. So here's Prince Colton, immediately tackled by Jaren's Prince. Candy Nun is fighting on strongly, so too is pretty fast from the inside. Candy Nun from between runners, pretty fast from the rail. Prince Colton, three wide. Sharon's Prince, four deep. They stack up at the eighth pole. Sharon's Prince to the far outside. Candy Nun fighting on strongly. Candy Nun and Sharon's Prince, Candy Nun. Candy Nun from Sharon's Prince. Prince Colton was third and checking in fourth pretty fast. Big effort from one of the first time starters, a six Candy Nun. What a good way to start our Saturday card. Four of them stacked across the track at the eighth pole. Sharon's Prince had a ton of momentum heading into the quarter pole run. Kept going strongly into the wire, but it's a big effort from six Candy Nun. Candy Nun and Sharon's Prince involved in the photo finish to start the Saturday guard. 111 and 87, 100 the final time. And the winner's circle is six Candy Nun. Gutty first appearance from this three year old, a big gelding by Candy Ride right out of the Wildcat Air, Mayor Coco's Wildcat, owned by Las Monitos Stable. Heat the stable. Winning trainer is Apollo Lobo. Winning jockey, Alvin Jimenez. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Windstar Farm LLC. And the opener is official 6385. 6385, the top four finishers. Exact at $34.18. The trifecta, $22.60. The 10 cent superfecta, $10.97. Dollar superfecta, $109.77. Second race will start the early pick four. Scratch number six, El Cuervo Velas. Tonight's second race is in 21 minutes at 622. And there they go. Deus Ex Machina showing plenty of pace. Swimming with Sharks is also there. Vagabond Shoes and Iso Klein, three of them gun. Deus Ex Machina now reserved off the pace from the far outside. Enjoyments into the fifth spot, then stun him. Fort Lowell from the inside study committee. Right it on the ice is the last of all. Vagabond Shoes, the favorite, mixing it up with the big long shot, swimming with Sharks. Nice tracking trip for Isoclite. He is in the third spot with three to find, heading into the third. Two and a half to enjoyment, who races with Deus Ex Machina. Study committee from the inside, stun him from the far outside. Right it on the ice, and Fort Lowell are the uh, trailers, and swimming with Sharks has the lead at a big number, trying to shake Claire from Vagabond Shoes. Enjoyment tries to close in from the inside. Deus Ex Machina from the far outside. It is swimming with sharks, trying to discourage Vagabond Shoes. Vagabond Shoes fights on. Here comes Enjoyment splitting runners from between horses. Somewhat hesitant to try to punch on through. Swimming with sharks. Vagabond Shoes to the outside. Vagabond Shoes gradually wearing down this big long shot. Vagabond Shoes wins the money. Hard earned score. Big effort from swimming with sharks. 
Joyman had every right. He was hesitant to punch on through. They're going to Deus Ex Machina and Fort Lowell. Tough, gritty score. Five Vagabond shoes, eight to five. Boy, the chalk players were really tested. They had to show a lot of patience. Big effort from two, swimming with sharks. More enjoyment, had a big time look, but as soon as he got into contention, he just wouldn't punch on through from between rivals. 111 and 83, 100. Five Vagabond shoes is the winner, eight to five. In the winner's circle is number five, Vagabond Shoes, hard-earned victory this evening for this four-year-old chestnut gelding by Carpe Diem out of the Spice Town Mare Spice Lady by Michael Meeks. The winning trainer is Pavel Matejka, and the winning jockey is the Axeman, Luan Machado. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Randall Family Trust. The top four finishers, 10 cents, Superfecta, $153.21. Dollar Superfecta, $1,532.16. Five two exact to sixty one dollars sixty two cents. Five two four drive back to one hundred eighteen dollars forty seven cents. Six five early double eleven dollars ninety six cents. Third race will offer a double and a mid pick three. Twenty one minutes away. Six forty eight is the post time. Abel Lascano, new jockey two, a Shannon run. Car Marie Correa, new jockey four, Liam's lad. Five tap it boy, one pound over the weight. Eight, Robbins Giant. Robbins Giant has an additional workout 13th of February right here at Turfway Park. Fast track, three eights, 38 seconds. Freezing 20 minutes until the third. And there they go. Robbins Giant, part of the pace. Alibi Ike and Duke also quickly into stride. Alibi Ike pokes his head in front. Real Naughty is also contesting the pace. Here's Tappet Boy, forwardly positioned. Fast forward, has the six spot, a little less than six lengths off the lead, headed by Rath Cormick. Knack Knack Bold advances in the two path. And farther out is Liam's lad. Shannon run third last. Cactus Kevin second last. And the early trailer is Nikki's the favorite. Real Naughty is the quickest. Here's Duke into the second spot, covering Alibi Ike. And Rath Cormick's beginning his move. He tries to quicken in from the fourth spot. Tap it, boys, in the fifth position. I'm going to Robin's Giant from the inside. And further out in the field is Knack Knack Bolt. Real Naughty still has the lead. Knack Knack Bolt's making a big bid to the extreme outside. He's coming with a very wide run. Real Naughty, Alibi Ike. Knack Knack Bolt to the extreme outside. After him races Liam's lad. Cactus Kevin's picking up a lot of ground to the far outside. Real Naughty still has the lead. Knack Knack Bolt's trying to wear him down. Cactus Kevin taking his sweet time to wind up to the extreme outside. Here's Knack Knack Bolt up to the front just in time. Knack Knack Bolt from Real Naughty. Shannon run third. Fourth, fifth, and sixth involves Liam's lad, Tap It Boy, and Cactus Kevin. Who says Californians are afraid of frigid temperatures? That is a back to back California invaders on the Saturday card here at Turfway Park, racing and gaming. Knack Knack Bolt, inactive since early June of 2023, drops into a very low level of 7,500. Ruiz knew where he belonged. Knack Knack Bolt gets the job done. Nothing flashy. Workmanlike effort. Seven Real Naughty ran well in defeat. How about the two? Shannon run at a huge number. Got pretty tight for fourth. 111 and 82 one hundreds. The final time from the third. Ladies and gentlemen, the inquiry sign is up on the board. A steward's inquiry into the stretch run. The stewards are looking at number two, Shannon Run. This inquiry does not affect the unofficial top two finishers. In addition to the steward's inquiry, we have a jockey's objection. One against four through the stretch run. In the winner's circle is three, Knack Knack Bolt. The unofficial winner, a four-year-old Dark Bear Brown Gelding by Bolt de Oro out of the Tapazar Mare Sarah's Girl. Owned by Ruiz Racing, LLC. Mick Ruiz, the winning trainer, winning jockey, Martin Garcia, when it was bred in Kentucky by his owner. Coming up will be a replay of the stretch run. Get a key in on number two, Shannon Run. To his outside is the four, Liam's Lad. Farther out is the one, Cactus Kevin. You're going to see two, Shannon Run starts to drift out. He's going to make contact with four, Liam's Lad. Lascano gives the two a big crack of a left hand right there. And the horse responds and starts to 
drift out, makes contact with four Liam's lad, making contact with one Cactus Kevin, Stewart's felt. This was enough to warrant the disqualification. One Cactus Kevin, who originally finished fifth, and four Liam's lad, who originally finished fourth. Both were cost chances at proper places. You're gonna see two Shannon run starts to come under left-handed urging. It starts to drift out, makes contact with four Liam's lad, who makes contact with one Cactus Kevin. Stewart's felt two. Shannon Run was the culprit here, causing all of this commotion in deep stretch. Both four and one compromised, thus resulting in the disqualification of two Shannon Runs. So the new numbers 3741, tonight's third. And race three is now official. 3741, the new top four finishers. Once again, two Shannon Run originally finished third, disqualified a place in fifth for interfering with one gap. The scap and 37 exact at $54 and a couple of pennies. 7-4 trifecta at $182.71. Five three daily double thirteen dollars eighty two cents. Ten cent superfecta one hundred fifty one dollars nineteen cents. Dollar super fifteen hundred eleven dollars ninety three cents. Six five three early pick three twenty dollars and thirty nine cents, which is in the books. Let's get to the fourth race and here we go, fans. Twenty cent a single six a jackpot time that carry over just shy of fifty one thousand dollars. Let's go over the sequence. The fourth race is clear of change. And there they go. Ralston is showing good zip. A beach kitten is there. So too is Princess Tapature. Atlantic Strike. Here's Twirling Ruth from the rail. Ship it. There's one from the outside. Queen of Chill, the Philly to the extreme outside. Botox Katie, second last. Banned from Midway is the last of nine. And Beach Kitten asserts her authority early. She has the lead from the outside there. Races Rolston, and from the inside, Atlantic Strike ship its forwardly position. Queen of Chills in the clear from the far outside. Twirling Ruth along the rail, a little less than three and a half off the lead. Princess Tapature, four lengths from the front, heading into the far turn run. Five lengths to Botox Katie, who now picks up her stride. Katie is progressing. She has a nice run, and towards the tail is banned from midway. Beach Kitten, here's Atlantic Strike making her move. And Botox Katie follows in the footsteps of Twirling Ruth, who takes over third. Beach Kitten confronted by Atlantic Strike. Twirling Ruth's off the rail for the final 3 sixteenths. Botox Katie continues with her big run. Maneuver to the extreme outside. Up goes Atlantic Strike. Beach Kitten not with much in response. Twirling Ruth makes a move for second. Botox Katie continues her big run to the outside, but Atlantic Strike beat her to the punch. Another one for the Axeman. Luan Machado with a double. Atlantic Strike, second and third involves Botox Katie and Twirling Ruth. Then we're going to Beach Kitten. Not a bad price on number three, Atlantic Strike, seven to two when it's all said and done. The Axeman with a very patient ride, an inside trip. Beach Kitten was aggressively handled from the very beginning. Atlantic Strike patiently handled that's what the axe man does best a very patient jockey atlantic strike came after beach kitten put that rival away got first run on both botox katie and twirling root seven to two when it's all said and done it's a fair number three atlantic strike she covered the six and a half furlongs in 118 and 35 100 in the winner's circle is three atlantic strike a six-year-old of a mare by dominus from the stormy atlantic mare Madrilina, owned by Bill Cubbage, along with Sims Jr. Racing. That's Mark Sims Jr., the winning trainer. A double for the Axeman, Luan Machado. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Spendthrift Farm, LLC. Ten cents super, twenty-seven dollars forty-three cents. Dollar super effect of two hundred seventy-four dollars thirty-one cents. Five three three pick three twenty-three dollars nine cents. 3-2 exact of $42.32. 3-2-1 trifecta, $43.61. 3-3 three, three, double, $9.83. Fifth race starts our late pick five. Scratch 11, royally flush. The 13 draws in. Picks up the services of Sunny Leone. Two Kobe Beach, one pound over. 21 minutes until the fifth. Starting our late pick five. Fans, it is post time for the Risen Star. When it comes to horse racing, you can never have too much information. With Twin Spires, you can place your bets with confidence. Whether you use handicapping insights like our Brisnet speed ratings, prime power and past performances, the guidance of our experts' top picks, 
or just choose a name that catches your eye. Yes! No matter how you pick your horse, bet with Twin Spires and use stable alerts to never miss a bet. And there they go. High 95 broke a little inward. Magna Ruler gets a good start from the far outside. Factum Star, Smile Like Kyle, I-95. They are all there vying for second. Let's include King of Truth amongst that group. Cog is about four or five lengths off the lead. Froome from the inside. And advancing further out in the field. Let's get back to the front end. Magna Ruler. Magna Ruler has the lead. Chasing him as King of Truth. And also there is I-95 from the inside. is Smile Like Kyle. Smile like Kyle's into the fourth spot. Here's Don't Cross Jack. He was the one advancing from the far outside. Also trying to quicken in his cog. Past imperative gives way a bit. Likewise for Factum Star. Jahez is trying to pick up his stride. That's Magda Ruler. He got that very smooth start from the beginning, and he's the one to come in overall. Here comes Don't Cross Jack, and Jahez is finding his best stride. They could be the late players after Magna Ruler. Magna Ruler turns into the lane. He has led the entire trip, still has something left. Jahez is making up ground quickly. Don't Cross Jack has flattened out. Cog is also trying to come and crash the party. Magna Ruler aggressively sent from the very beginning. Trying to come and get him is Jahez, but it is Magna Ruler and Sonny Leone, a good-looking gate-to-wire winner. Jahez was second. Cog checked in third and fourth place to Don't Cross Jack. Big-time start for the 13. Magna Ruler, you know, the other speed horse to his inside. I-95 broke inward, causing a little bit of commotion with other rivals, and Magna Ruler took full advantage of it. He found himself in the lead all to himself. Don't Cross Jack made a good menacing move through the turn. Luan Machado recognized he needed to step up to Magna Ruler. It ended up costing him a couple of placings. Seven Jahez had a good-looking stride through the turn, sustained it through the lane, but it is the 13th Magna Ruler. Magna Ruler dropping in class this evening. Sonny Leone, they are a gate to wire winner. 13 Magna Ruler, 117 and 94 one hundredths the final time. And the winner's circle is the 13 Magna Ruler, a six year old dark bear brown gelding by Dominus. That was a, another one for Dominus. It's back to back for that winning sire. Magna Moonglow is the dam by Magna Graduate. That was by Carolyn Oldfield along with Edward Fernandez. Edward Fernandez is the winning trainer, the winning jockey. As Sonny Leone. Magna Ruler was bred in Kentucky by owner Carolyn Oldfield. Early pick for $244.52. The 10 cent super effect at $98.08. Dollar super, $980.82. 13 7 exact at $116.74. 13 7 4 trifecta, $132.90. 313 daily double, $38.47. Race 6 at the classic distance of a mile and a quarter. We'll start our late pick for scratch for Barberini. Jockey change on the 10. Split the wickets to Adam Biskitza. Nine underdressed has an additional workout. 10th of February, Thoroughbred Training Center. There's a half mile move, 52 seconds, breezing over a fast track. Tonight, six named in honor of happy heavenly birthday, Laura Granny Bishop. The loved ones truly miss you, Laura. Big happy birthday. Big happy heavenly belated birthday. And there they go. Segoy is showing pace with 50 cent dollars. Bird King, Tiberius Mercurius, really good from the far outside. 50 cent dollars, Tiberius Mercurius, Segoy from the inside. And to the extreme outside is really good. I'm going to Bird King Avenue from the rail. Split the wickets. Closest to the stands. Along the inside races, wow, what a summer. Underdressed third last. February Sun second last. And Nicholas Jones is the last of all. And 50 cent dollars makes the pace from Tiberius Mercurius. 50 cent dollars into the clubhouse run. Tiberius Mercurius chases the pace from second. Segoy's in the third spot. And really good. 
is in the fourth position, a little less than two and a half for three lengths off the lead. About a length and a half to Avenue, a good four or five lengths off the pace. Split the wickets, joins him. I'm going to underdress two races with Bird King. Wow, what a summer third last February sun still second last. And Nicholas Jones remains the last of all. Past the 5'8". 50 cent dollars, three parts of a length to Tiberius Mercurius. Really goods into the third spot covering Segoy. Here's Avenue in the fifth position, more than four lengths off the lead. Split the wickets has been getting a wide journey. And after them along the inside races, wow, what a summer. Wow, what a summer is four lengths from the pace. As they try to quicken in after 50 cent dollars, 50 cent dollars, Tiberius Mercurius, really good is there. Underdressed launches his charge. Segoy is there. Avenue is really under a heavy drive. Split the wickets to his outside. February Sun's trying to make up ground to the extreme outside. In the meantime, really good has come away with the lead. It's really good. Avenue's trying to find a seam to split, and here he comes. Segoy's also battling on. It's really good. 50 cent dollars. Segoy. Avenue's trying to come and get them all to the outside. Segoy and Avenue. Segoy's had a good season so far, trying to fend off Avenue. Segoy and Avenue. And it's Segoy and Avenue and a head bobbing finish. Maybe Segoy, that one got tight on the line. Really good, checked in third. Then wow, what a summer, 50 cent dollars in February sun. Let's just call Segoy Rodney Dangerfield. He doesn't get a lot of respect, but he runs big all the time. How about this guy, 12 to one, what a good run. Taking off the pace, utilizing the inside draw, tipping out when it mattered the most, and fending off Avenue. It looks like he did. They are involved in a photo finish. That slow-mo was pretty favorable for Sequoia. 202 and 90, 100 is the final time. Here's another shot of this slow-mo, and look at Segoy putting that nose down when it matters the most. Rodney Dangerfield of the 20 and 24 season here at Turfway Park for East City Gaming. Segoy gets it done again. Number one, Segoy, his third victory. The Turfway Park Racing and Gaming, fourth overall, third, combining the holiday meet. Segoy, a seven-year-old Bay Gelding by Kara Conti out of the Devil is Due Maritime with Spirit, owned by R. Townsend Sparks, winning trainer Rick Hiles, winning jockey Walter Rodriguez. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Normandy Farr. Gutty victory from Segoy this evening, defending off Avenue 1 3, 12 2, still unofficially from the sixth. Once again, a big happy heavenly birthday to Laura Granny Bishop. That exact to $79.88, the trifecta $165.98, 13 one daily double $131.86. $0.10 cent superfecta $86.09, dollar superfecta $860.96, three thirteen one pick three, $288.54. Tonight's seventh race is our Saturday featured event, the 33rd running of the Dust Commander, $125,000 guaranteed. One mile at 116. Four year olds and up. Nine Quadra Island, a jockey change to Fernando de la Cruz. This race will start our late pick three. Our Saturday feature is in 20 minutes at 848. The horses are coming onto the track for our Saturday featured event, the 33rd running of the Dust Commander. $125,000 guaranteed. Four year olds and up traveling one mile and 116. Let's get right into the parade. One is Wizard of Westwood. Owned by Andrew and Renia Warren. Conditioned by Michael McCarthy. The jockey is Gerardo Corrales. Number two is El Cabong. Owned by Ashbrook Farm. Conditioned by Rusty Arnold. In the irons, Colby Hernandez. Three is Kito Dan. Owned by Foster Family Racing. Douglas Miller and William Wargel. Eric Foster is the trainer. Walter Rodriguez looking for back-to-back -back trips to the winner's circle. Four is Surly Furious. Owned by Novogratz Racing Stables Incorporated. His trainer is Glenn Wismer. The jockey is Abel Zadio. Five is Transect, owned by OXO Equine LLC. Paulo Lobo is the trainer. Luan Machado looking for three on the evening. Six is Common Bond, owned by Red TR Racing LLC. Karen Wittick is the trainer. Sonny Leone looking for a riding double. 
Seven is Santorini, owned by Storyteller Racing, along with Dave Russell and Scott Catlett. Rudy Brissett is the trader and the jockey Alex Ajar. Here's the other Paulo Lobo trainee for OXO Equine LLC, the eight, Gunton Row, Adam Biskitza. As the board and completing the post parade is number nine, Quadra Island, owned by Dotson Stable. His trainer is Brad Cox, and picking up the mount is Fernando de la Cruz. That is the field for the 33rd running of the Dust Commander, our Saturday feature. You have less than three minutes until post time. Ready for the Saturday feature, the Dust Commander. And there they go in the 33rd running of the Dust Commander stakes. And it's Santorini who pops out of his respective stall. He's making the pace with Gunton Row. Wizard of Westwoods under a nice hold, and he secures a beautiful stocking trip from the third spot. So they race into the clubhouse turn, and it is Santorini now conceding the lead to Gunton Row. Gunton Row picking it up from Santorini, Wizard of Westwoods in the third spot. El Cabong has the fourth position, and he's a little less than four lengths off the lead. A length to common bond, more than five, five and a half off the pace. Two and a half clear of Surly Furious, almost a length back to Quadra Island. Kito Dan is second last racing with him is Transect. They race to the 5 8 and it's Gunton Row establishing the lead. Better than a length to Santorini. Wizard of Westwood off the rail, tracking very smartly. El Cabong, two and a half off the lead in the fourth spot. Another length back to Common Bond. Break of more than three lengths to Quadra Island racing with him is Surly Furious. Transect is a second last, and Kito Dan is still at the back. Here comes Santorini to re-engage Gunton Row. Wizard of Westwood's all in from the third spot. Here's Surly Furious. He's catching the eye. He makes a move into fourth, now taking over third. And Surly Furious is the one to recognize at the quarter pole. Surly Furious is after Santorini. And look at the momentum with Surly Furious off the turn. And the Dust Commander, and he opens up. Wizard of Westwood fights for second, currently held by Santorini. Kitto down to the outside, but it's all about Surly Furious. He is huge this evening. Another stakes victory for Surly Furious. Completely dominated this group. Kitto Dan second, then Santorini and Wizard of Westwood. Super impressive for Surly Furious. There's a horse who just won a stakes race two weeks ago, and that was going six and a half furlongs. This was ultra impressive. Big time run for Surly Furious, 142 and 64 one hundredths the final time. In the winner's circle is the impressive winner of the 33rd running of the Dust Commander Stakes, number four, Surly Furious. Back-to-back -back stakes victories in 14 days. Six-year-old Bay Gelding by Upstart out of the Majestic Perfection Mare. Perfect prediction. Owned by Novogratz Racing Stables Incorporated. Conditioned by Glenn Wismer. Winning jockey, Abel Zadio. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Brereton C. Jones. And with the feature race trophy presentation is our racing security manager, Mr. Darren Piccarello. Congratulations to Novogratz Racing Stables Incorporated, Surly Furious. He won the Forgo two weeks ago. Right back at it with the Dust Commander. 437 won that exact to $79.94. The trifecta, $117.95. One four daily double, $71.20. 10 cents super, 437 won $91.48. Dollar superfecta, $914.80. 1314 pick three, $209.92. Couple of races to go on the Saturday card. The eighth race will start the late daily double, one and nine, both scratch. Call Bob, bad boy for life. The eighth race, 21 minutes away at 916. And there they go. French Bread is showing pace. Rocky Joy fleet a foot on the return bid. Here's Side Eye, who's going to pick it up. Side Eye and Rocky Joy. French Bread third. Hingham from the far outside covering Zeca Diablo dissolved along the inside. An accident runs with him in the two path. Pretty compact group. Side Eye has the lead. Three parts of a length to Rocky Joy. French Bread is pushing three deep. From the inside, races dissolved. Accidents in the two path. 
And further out on the field is Zeca Diablo. And Hingham gets the worst of it, stuck out there in no man's land, heading into the turn. They are all following in the footsteps of Side Eye. Side Eye has the lead a length and a half. From the outside there races Rocky Joy. Side Eye and Rocky Joy remain 1-2. Dissolves trying to quicken in from the inside, but he's under a vigorous drive. French bread from his outside. Hingham's been getting a very wide journey. Zeca Diablo tries to quicken in. Here comes Zeca Diablo with a little bit of a run, but they all need to step up the side eye. Side eye has led the entire trip. And continuing to chase him is Rocky Joy. And also there is Dissolved, who's gradually getting to side eye. Here is Dissolved, wearing him down. A grinding type victory for Dissolved. Dissolved wins it from side eye. Accidents up for third, then Rocky Joy and Zeca Diablo. $1,000 maiden special weight race. We've been treated to some pretty nice maiden special weights this season. But it is Dissolved's race. He will graduate this evening. Just grinding his way to that winner's circle, getting to side eye. 117 and 88 one hundredths. The final running time. The fans were all over number two, Dissolved. The overwhelming favorite at seven to five. Three side eye runs second, third place five accident, fourth place four Rocky Joy two three five four, unofficially in the A. Race eight is official in the winner's circle is two dissolved. The four year old Bay Colt by Quality Road out of the Candy Ride Mare Sweet Dreams by SB Racing LLC along with Jordan Wyckoff. Winning trader is Mike Maker. Winning jockey Gerardo Carrellis. Winner was bred in Kentucky. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Lynch Mages Limited, along with Thomas Park Stud. All right, here are some prices. That 10 cent Superfecta, $9.27. Dollar Superfecta, $92.79. 142 pick three, $56.97. 23 exacta, $30.86. 235 trifecta, $19.15. 42 day latable, $14.87. Saturday night cap in about 21 minutes at 9.43. We have scratches 3, 4, 8, and 10. Dancing Noah, Mastery and Polished, First Fiddler, Battleboard, 3, 4, 8, and 10. 3, 4, 8, and 10. All scratch from the ninth race. 3, 4, 8, and 10 out of the night cap. Abel Sadio, New Jockey 9, Cash Me Up. Six well spotted, two pounds over. A super high five opportunity. 21 minutes away until the night cap. 9.43 is the most time. And there they go. Pretty good start for all of the runners. The Thunder, well spotted. Boy Wonder, these three contest the pace. And here comes Curlin's in charge from the inside. But it is well spotted and the Thunder. And right there is Boy Wonder. So now it's well spotted and Boy Wonder 1-2. The Thunder is back to the third spot. Colboss from the extreme outside. Curlin's in charge, works into the two path. Somewhat of a tight spot for him. He's fifth from between runners. Two and a half off the pace. Better than two lengths to American Raider with Lola's bow. And at the back of the pack is Cash Me Up. So they race to the five eights. Well spotted has the lead. Wonder Boys is pace partner. Cole Boss from the far outside. The Thunder from the inside. And still from between runners races. Curlin's in charge. Two and a half or three off the lead. Boy, he's had an awkward go of it. American Raider to his outside. Lola's a bow from the extreme outside. And Cash Me Up is beginning to get a little closer from that back marker. Let's call it five lengths from first to last. Well spotted. Call Boss three deep. Boy Wonder from between runners. Lola's boys hitting his stride. Also trying to close in. Cash Me Up. The Thunder is looking for somewhere to go. Been a, just a... Horrendous trip for Curlin's in charge. American Raider relegated to the rear. And here's Cash Me Up with a big move from last, trying to gain the top spot. And Cash Me Up storms up to the lead. Cole Boss goes with him. The Thunder along the inside. Cole Boss still has some fight. Cash Me Up's not going by just quick. Here's the Thunder along the inside. What a thriller in the Saturday night cap that goes to the Thunder. Cole Boss was second and Cash Me Up. Lola's bow. And what a horrendous trip for Curlin's in charge. Boy, you got to feel for him. He was throwing his head about after the wire. Very, very troubled trip for Curlin's in charge to complete that super high five. Big run number five, the Thunder are up the inside. Very good effort from Cole Boss. Cash me up, looked like he was going to sweep by them all. 
still feel really bad for the one Curlin's in charge. Just what a horrendous run from horrendous trip he had to uh, work out here at the nightcap. All right, 140 and 13 one hundreds. In the winner's circle is number five, the Thunder. Five-year-old Bay Horse by Blame out of the Bernardini Mare Delight, full owned by Earl Mac LLC, winning a Traders Josie Carroll, winning a Jockey Gerardo Carellis. Gerardo sweeps the late daily double. This winner was bred in Kentucky by Helen Alexander. Late pick four, three hundred thirteen dollars twenty-eight cents. Pick six was worth six thousand seven hundred eighty-five dollars and twenty-five cents. Carry over into the Wednesday card, $52,888.31. Five twelfth exacta from the nightcap, $102.68. Five twelve nine trifecta, $76.56. Two five Gerardo Corrales, late daily double, $12.73. Ten cent super three hundred ninety dollars sixty seven cents dollar super fact to thirty nine hundred six dollars seventy nine cents four two five late pick three twenty five dollars eighty six cents late pick five twenty three hundred forty six dollars eighty six cents four out of five twenty seven dollars fifty eight cents and we have a super high five carry over into the Wednesday card that is twenty three hundred twenty eight dollars and seventy cents. That's a wrap on the Saturday card. That concludes another work week here at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Sure hope you had a great Saturday. Live entertainment all the way up until 11 p.m. at Bourbon and Brew with the Boy Band Review. They are the live entertainment this evening all the way up until 11 p.m. Bourbon and Brew. We've got the catching cash drawings going up till about 10 o'clock. Still a little bit of time left. Going to do it again tomorrow with that, 2 to 6 p.m. Catching cash drawings. And once again, racing will resume Wednesday, 5.55. Sure hope you had a great Saturday evening when leaving the track. Please drive very carefully. This has been Racing from Turfway Park, Racing and Gaming. Good night, everybody.